This is the first of a few graphics programs I have that I keep as examples in my library. And the graphics library comes from a guy named John, I'm not sure how he pronounces his name, Zeller or Zella, something like that. Uh, it's open source, you can download it. Uh, he did a really good job. He sells it, a book and this is uh, part of it, but the, the library itself is free to download. So, uh, yes, very good library. So from his library, we're going to import everything. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw a window, and then we're going to draw a circle on the window. So here's our main part of our program. This is the whole program right here. Uh, we're going to create a, a window, and we're going to name it circle. So we're up here, it's going to have a name of circle. It's going to be 400 by 400. And we're going to set the background as red. So this window with this win. We're going to set the attribute to red, background attribute. We're going to then uh, create our circle, and I'm going to use what he has, as a, he has a point function. So this allows me to define the center of the circle, and this is the radius. And we'll store that here. Then we'll do this uh, C dot set fill. So we're going to turn it blue. We're going to use this attribute to turn the circle blue. So if we do this right, we'll have a blue circle on a red background. And then we're going to execute this uh, thing we built right here, this circle we built, and we're going to place it in the window that we created up here. And then what's going to happen is we're going to wait until there's a mouse click on the window, at which time we'll terminate it, we'll fall through here, we'll close the window, and then we'll print done. So, if I did this right, there it is. And you can see up here it says circle. We have a blue circle on a red background, and it will wait until I position the mouse over here. Click, and then we print done over here, and that's it. So, of course it will do a lot more complex things than this, but this is a very good uh, sample to keep in my library so that I can come back and look and see how this works very easily. Okay, well that was it for the first graphics uh, code out of my library. Hope you found it useful and interesting in your Raspberry Pi Python graphics coding.